Okay, I'm back. So, we've done. Bear with me. Right, so we have done the lens, the adjustable lens. We have done the main body. And now we're moving on to the main casing of said construction. So, A3 and A4. There's A3. The bottom one's A4. I need to remember them because they're slightly different. A3, A4, and A2, which is the side panel that I mentioned earlier that has the text on it that states, You may be out of sight, but never out of my mind. Aww. So we said A3 was the top one, and looking at this, that needs to be on the outside of that, so let's do that. And then A4 slots inwards, like that. So let's do that. Oh, well, this is a tough one. Oh, there we go. We got it in. We got it in. Right. And that creates part E, apparently. Let's put that aside for a moment then. Uh, D19, A16. D19, A16. Where is A16? That long piece there. What did we say the other one was? Sorry, D19. That piece right there. Now, the pieces are cut on this board, so they're in between each other, so we've got to be so careful not to break either piece. I'm going to face that towards me, and I'm going to face the pattern upwards, and it wants me to put it in one side and hook it in, and then click it in with the other. Wow, that's a tough one. Oh, is that a little viewfinder? That's part F. Let's put that aside. See, we're burning through these now. Step seven. We're going to get A1 and D20. Which is that big piece there that we've just pulled the smaller piece out of. This is why I said you've got to be careful. I'm having moments. Bear with me. Probably be using the tools. Can we make it way easier? But it's fine. I got little fingers, so it'll be fine. Ah, I nearly broke that piece. Oh my god. Who the hell thought this would be a good idea? Me and fiddly breakable things. Puzzle. Right, we're out, we're out. Got a few splinters on this one. Ooh, snap that bit of wood. That's a shame. Just gotta be super careful on that corner. Okay, so you want me to take A. A being A. Ah, it's not even that A, it's the other A. Oh, other ray. There's another ray. There is another ray. This one. Ooh, okay. So with this, we're taking this. It's going to go through and up. And it seems like, no, I'm, I'm doing this wrong. It should be this way this way and then this should be this way and then that's gonna slide into there Ooh. and then the lens let's make sure it's the right way around the lens is gonna slot in to there oh wow okay so it's plugging onto the side there 
and then this has got to pop onto there. But this could be fiddly. Right. I got it, I got it. Oh wow! <laughs> cool. I think I got the splinter. Right. Now we're gonna start putting the big bits in. AKA the other side. So now that this is oh my lord, okay, so let's put that that way around, yep. Yeah. It says, what do we got to do with the wire? It says, keep the wire out the way. We're keeping the wire out the way. And then this lens now needs to slot into these two holes. Oh my god. It's fine, we can do this. Oh no, that's well. No wonder. Oh, we might not be able to do this. This might be beyond our level of expertise. Let's see. Excuse me while I fiddle. <laughs> Where do you go? Ah, oh, my giddy aunt. At the moment, nowhere. How odd. Oh, I am so confused right now. So we've got this beautiful piece, and we've got this beautiful piece, and somehow we've got to get the two beautiful pieces together. Do they want to go together? Do they shit? There's only those two things it's got to push into. It's not rocket science, is it? Just go in the hole. Dude. Don't, don't be an arse, just go in the hole. You it's not supposed to be rocket science, this one. You're supposed to just slot in. Uh-oh. 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 We've made the other side go kaput. Oh, for feck's sake. This is impossible. The fuck. It's all about humanity. Ooh, this is this is you know when things get annoying? This is annoying. Like if that just stayed in there, this would be a thousand times easier. But no, it's just annoying. It's all about humanity. I feel like that should be like able to sit in there better. <gasps> Did it work? Did it go in? Did it go in? It went in. It went in. Yes. That fucking thing. It's annoying. It's gone in, but I'm scared to let go because it is not tight in yet so next stage is to put this down I didn't put you down you will fall apart um right let's just put you down there and just not touch you for a moment oh splinter okay we're gonna move on to B1 Find with stuff like this. Come back to it, tends to sort itself out. That's come out of somewhere and I don't know where. I got B1, which goes that way round. I've got B3, which looks to go that way round. And I've got D21 and D22. 
which seems to be a pain in my ass. <coughs> oh no, yeah, no, they're a complete pain in the ass, they're tiny. Let your nails be with you. It's the only way you're getting these fuckers out. Okay, and D22 is those two. Do 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 do. Okay! Wow! That was a pain! So, you're going in that little tiny hole there. You're going in that little tiny hole there. Tiny little holes, literally, they've just slotted in there. Uh, and then I've got these two pieces. Which again are tiny, and these are apparently pushing in to here with the big end at the back. Ah, so they're, they're literally just like kapow little ramps. <laughs> right, so we've got little ramps, that's what we've put on, those little things there. Uh, and then we're going to put B3 in at the far back here. Kapow, base. Oh no. Oh, alas. It is you again. Okay, so with this, these have got to slot into these, and at the same time, these have got to hook into the front of here. So we've got to pull it in. Where's the hole jocking into? Is it them ones? And then I need to push. Oh shit, there's them as well. Oh no. Right, at least it's going to be stable. And then in theory, you should be able to push these things over. Oh, they don't even push over yet. No, they, they go straight down. Okay, that's fine. We can work with this. Oh, not with the wire in there. We can't. Oh, shit. Where do you want this wire to come out? At the back? At the back, okay. Don't burn out the wire. We haven't even bloody started yet. Okay. Right, we're getting somewhere. So we're a little bit more stable now. We've got a base. We've got the little wires still coming out here. We're looking better. We're looking better. We've been told to put that down, so let's do that. Uh, and now we need... Hmm, what the heck? Okay! What? Let's get A18 out. <laughs> I wish I could show you this book, because it's like... I'm on this bit here. And it's like, make sure they go in all the way. It takes you a while to read each part. Especially when you like me and don't take things in the first time. I don't know what this test thing is. But anyway, A, 17. And then, ah, uh, there's the 18. So they're the things that I've got to push all the way through. And I only need three of those, but there's four here. So I'm guessing one's a spare. And then you got 17. Which is that one there. And then you want A18 times 3. I don't even know where... Oh, I do. We've already done that one. D24 and D26. Oh my god. D24? Tiniest little lines you've ever seen. 26? I take it back what I said earlier, they, they are actually numerical. It's just opposite, we took that one out already, so it was like, mm, it was a pain. 
Right. Let's give these a bit of a fail, or else we will be struggling to get them in the holes. Not too much though, because we don't want them to fall out, do we? Uh, so what this is saying is... Oh, I need those little tiny things. How the hell do we even secure tiny things? If I manage to get... Oh my god, I managed to get just the four that I needed out. I'm amazing. Right, okay, so these are little... Oh, honestly. Look at the size of that. Don't lose them. <laughs> so it's saying 17, A17, which is this one here, and D26 are going to go together with these pegs. So let's put a peg in the hole. Way. Peg in the hole. Do they only need three of these? Oh, why did I get four out? And one of these. I'm going to put the spare one over here in my little pile of weird stuff that I'm going to definitely lose. And then 26, which has a weird angle thing on it that needs to line up. Oh my lord. Okay. Well, they're together. Right, and the plugs are going to go all the way in, apparently. Like, not just a little bit of the way in. The whole way in. Right the way down. Keep going. And then we should be able to clip these in. They should click. Ooh, they clicked. Ooh. There you go. Nice. Ooh, we need a B6. That's a new one. Oh. Uh, There it is. It should be obvious it's the only one there that isn't shaped like a circle. Am I supposed to be waxing any of this? No. B5. B5. D27. Do I not have to wax this up at all? I feel like it should be, right? It's going to sit inside it. I'll wax it anyway. No, it doesn't tell me to. I just feel like that's the right thing to do. So that's going to come through here, and then that is going to slot on to here. You can't see this, but yeah, that's going to slot onto there. And if you look, that actually sits perfectly inside. Oh, but there seems to be a stopper. Ah, see? And then that'll sit perfectly inside. So, hence the reason why I wanted to oil it just in case. And then a D27 sits on the end of it, apparently. Doesn't show me how far to push this down, and the 27 is actually smaller than the uh, previous one, which makes me think maybe I should oil this one too. Oh shit. Maybe I should. I'm just going to put some on there just in case. There you go. There you go. Don't know what we're doing with that, but there you go. Oh, got dramatic. I need a B7. Uh, now, whenever there's anything like this, you know it's a good idea to buddy wax it. That's cool. That's very cool. Right, clock down. No, I think you've got to go further than that. To there. Ooh! That's good. It's got good movement. I'm glad that I uh, did what I told it to. See, the project starts as really overwhelming. Like, you first look at it and you're like, mm, I can't do this. And then, all of a sudden it's like, hmm, yeah, okay, I can do this. I just need to concentrate more, which is not a, an easy task for me, I won't lie. Oh, no, I've done it wrong. No, I haven't. I'm fine. See what I mean? I'm looking at the wrong one, though. That D28 should be 1B5, not 2. 2's on the next. Oops. 
we'll put that aside for now. So let's get B4 out. And then we've got to oil this cog. Oh my god, that is the thinnest thing I've ever seen in my life. <gasps> it wants me to put that in. Okay, if this goes skew with, I've got candles in the cupboard, so at least we've got more wax, I guess. <laughs> right, I've well and truly waxed that ring. Where's that going? Does that go on top of the... No. Oh, that's really cool. So that sits on top of the first one we did, like, perfectly. So, okay, so that's in. And then what it wants is D23. Which is another big piece. Is it you? Yes, it's you. I like it when I see the pieces with the wood burns, like patterns in them. Because you know they're going to be the exterior of the box. So it's like, you kind of get an idea what it's going to look like before you've even finished it. Which is cool, right? <gasps> Oh, we're going to have to break in a moment because my foot has gone to sleep. D23. Where are you going? Oh, no way. Do you go over the ring that's over the first ring? Oh, that is cool. Right, I'm just going to grease the inside of here as well then. There you go. So if you face down, sorry, you can't really see what I'm doing here, but. So with that face down and that sticking out that way, and it should be the way with the patterns on it, yeah? Yeah, patterns, patterns. Okay, so this one with patterns on the outside now needs to go over there. And it sits over that initial ring we did before. God knows why. Uh, then we need another D28. Okay, two B5s. And then some weird thing goes in the middle. <gasps> this is where we got to start actually building. Right, okay. We're going to break. I'll be back in five. Maybe 10, I'm gonna make a cup of tea. And um, we'll come back to this, so. See you soon, guys. <laughs>